So we're going to demonstrate for you one of the aspects of doing this work, which is directly connected to the Phoenix, my mental imagery model, to change your belief. So I've asked a young woman to step up here and to participate with me, and she's been kind enough to volunteer. The check is waiting for her outside, but she's been good enough to come and want to be part of this process. So tell me, can you give me a current situation that may be somewhat distressing to you that you are dealing with right now? Credit card debt. Okay. So tell me, I know that this doesn't apply to any of you listening. (laughs) This is only for her. But tell me, since there's this credit card debt, which is your experience, Mm -hmm. what is a belief that's playing on you now that's associated with this credit card debt? I can't get out of debt. I see. Now, as you hear, you may, those of you listening who may be experiencing something similar to this, you may not have the same belief. Your belief might be somewhat different. That's okay. Your belief is your belief. So it's not necessarily shared by everybody. Somebody could have said, I'll never be able to get out of this debt. So overall, it varies according to how you look at it and what you're conceiving about it. Now, you know from what we've heard about this whole process of the one-minute life repair and so on about beliefs, that you couldn't possibly say this to me unless you had understood the opposite. You can't possibly have framed this sentence, Mm -hmm. this belief. This conception can't come to you unless you understand Mm -hmm. the opposite side of it. Okay. And tell me what the opposite belief is then of this one. I am debt-free. Okay. By the way, For those of you who want to connect this, maybe if you want to inquire further, you could ask yourself, as I might ask her, is this indebtedness something that's current or have you found throughout your life that you have noticed that you're in debt in many ways, in many instances, to people or to institutions and so on, that you're in an entanglement that you have been unable to extricate yourself from? You may reflect on it and Mm. see that it's been there since you're young, in some manner, shape, Financial or debt, yes. Yes, financial debt. So you found that early on in life, there's been financial debt. It may have been something pervasive in the family that you picked up, something in yourself that you started to incur when you were young about being in financial debt. You didn't see any way that you would really be able to take care of yourself, whatever it is. Yes? Mm-hmm. So this may reflect on a nuclear belief from early life. Be that as it may, you're working on what is now. And so your belief is now you say, I am debt-free. I am debt-free. That's your belief. In the old belief, I cannot get out of debt. What's the image that's associated to it? Being tightly shackled. You see yourself being tightly shackled. I hope they're not leading you away to prison. (laughs) Not yet. (laughs) But you're, you're tightly shackled. And when you're tightly shackled, and this belief is pervading your consciousness, what is the feeling? Shame. Yes. Any physical sensation that you have? Yeah, just a contraction. You feel contracted. You you sense a contraction in yourself. Okay. So now you have said it, seen it, feel it, sense it, and then you stick your arm out. Of course, you jut your arm out. And we see as you say it, see it, feel it, sense it. Do that. So I can't get out of debt. See it, feel it, sense it. And you see how your arm is quite weak. Yes. Now, The new one is I am debt-free, right? So what is the image of I am debt-free? An open window with air coming in. Nice. And what is the feeling? Expansive. And what's the sensation, the physical sense? Excitement, joy. How's the breathing? Actually, my breathing is is rapid, more rapid. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You're excited? Yeah, I'm excited. You're excited. Okay. So now put your arm out. Say it, see it, sense it, feel it. I am debt-free. Say it, see it, sense it, feel it. Right. Oh, look at how strong you are. And your arm actually shoots up. So this is a living example of how this takes place. This is characteristic of what happens in the one-minute life repair using this mental imagery model to change the belief through the image. This demonstration really is a particular of a general situation that I find occurring constantly. My students who use this work find it happening all the time. You are always in charge of your beliefs. You always have available to you the images that come that are connected with the beliefs. 
The feelings will immediately appear, the sensations, because we're all one unified being. So when we think, thinking takes place, actually, you see, in four levels. Verbal, image, feeling, sensation. They're all ways that are intimately connected and tied to each other. You really can't conceive without perceiving, and you can't conceive and perceive without feeling and sensing. It all goes together. It's not necessarily so that you will accomplish all those four right away, and then you may find, well, I say it, but I don't really see it. I sense it, and I have some feeling, and that's okay. Or I say it, I conceive it, I can see the image. I don't get much of a feeling, but I get some sort of a sensation. I mean, all kinds of combinations can take place. That's okay. That's okay. Just to realize that they're all connected. So we're using it all as a unified measure of being able to change your belief, knowing that when you change your belief, you're changing your life.